Servicing any electronic parking brake, it's a easy process providing you have the right tools. We are looking now at using the Launch X431 Pro on the BMW lineup. The same process will be valid for other launch products and the same process will be valid for other BMW vehicles. Overall, we open the diagnostic tool. We will need to go to service functions. This is where the launch is keeping the, the information. We will select the BMW vehicles and go through the processes with next, next, next until we reach this menu with three big options. The one that we are most interested in is workshop mode, automatic hold brake. If we select this one, the unit will communicate with the vehicle and it will engage the servicing position of our electronic parking brake actuator. Once this has happened, we are able to perform the service that we want to do on our brake pads, actuators, calipers. You don't even need a press. You're able to uh, easily put a screwdriver or something to leverage and push in the cylinder, the brake cylinder, in a very easy manner. None of the hassle of twisting in the cylinder like in the past. In the same servicing area, after we finish the work, we will need to re-engage our parking brake. Usually you are asked to do a function test so you will need to engage and disengage the parking brake and after that the system will reactivate our functionality the other thing in our menu set will be the cbs condition based servicing resets here is where it is important for your unit to have the correct time and date because this unit will go and communicate with the vehicle and they will synchronize the time and date so this will set the time and date on your vehicle and after that in the menu, you will have the option of resetting different uh, servicing intervals. Recently, I've noticed that BMW, specifically on the brake part, it doesn't give you an availability of that resource until your sensor is completely filed down. So it will not give you a warning until the last 5,000 miles when the sensor starts to give the information that something is happening on the system. As a side note, when you are looking at these values, you're able to tell how much availability of that resource is still in the system. The mileage interval, not the mileage remaining, and also in the end of the information, how many times this unit has been reset. So for the oil on this vehicle, we had four oil services. On the brake fluid, we had four again. Vehicle checks two, and the same process could be used for the other information that is available over there. The last thing that we have in this menu is the startup automatic hold brake. This is a specific function. If you have changed the stability unit, parking button, or something else regarding the automatic uh, hold brake system overall. I hope that this video helps. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.